Hey friends, Prophet Sai here. Praise me and this is the Church of You. Praise us all. <laughs> Thanks for joining me in the basement of the insane asylum I reside in. We're so glad you're here. <sighs> Folks, people are who they tell you they are every single time. Oh, this never changes. This never changes. That's just how it is. All the flowery words and obfuscation doesn't change this. People wish it could change this, but it doesn't. We can see right through them. <laughs> For example... If someone says they were just an honorary member of the KKK, not an actual member, that doesn't make it better. How does that make it better? In what world does this explanation make anyone think that could be any sort of better? <laughs> if you have been, or currently are, associated with a hateful organization, you're a scumbag, plain and simple. No, 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 no confusion. Scumbag, plain and simple. <laughs> we hate to see it. <sighs> Too many people try to explain hateful things in nice ways or with a lot of words to confuse people, but there is no confusion. You are a piece of crap. <laughs> so true. <laughs> if you hate other humans in a generalizing way, you are a load of garbage and hell is waiting for you. Oh, isn't that so sad? <laughs> Not to me, because you're hateful. So that makes me happy. Go to hell. <laughs> Every single one of us deserves the right to live how we want and follow beliefs we hold dear. And just because other people have different ways to live or beliefs than you does not invalidate their freedom. That does not invalidate their freedom. One more time, one more time. It does not invalidate their freedom. <laughs> that is so beautiful. <laughs> this is such a simple concept. And yet, so many of you make it seem so hard. Are you cross-eyed, smooth-brained? This is easy, but you make it look really hard. Why? Why do you do that? Do better. It's not hard. And if you don't, all the rest of us can do is assume you're a dumbass bigot. Is that what you want? Because that's what you are. <laughs> <laughs> and we hate that for you, we really do, because we wish nobody was a bigot. Hmm? Does that make sense? We really wish nobody was a bigot, but here you are, so many bigots out there in force. And we've got to respond to you, because you're trash. Okay. As always, let's see if we can glean any wisdom from the comments. Let's take a look. Why does white supremacists seem to be the least supreme people? Oh, yes, this is how life works. People that are hateful of other people are actually the weakest-minded people in society. Oh, it's so true. <laughs> so true. Why? 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 It's because they project the fact that they know they're losers. Wait a minute. Hang on. They know they're losers, so they try to project the fact that they're not losers. But people are who they tell you they are every single time. <laughs> That's the point of the video. <laughs> this comment makes a lot of sense. Okay. Seeing stories like this always makes me laugh at the people screaming, Both sides! Yes! Right! Do both sides of any scenario have hateful people in them? No! You can disagree with policy, okay? But that doesn't mean the other side is both sides bad because are they hating people? I don't know. I'd have to look at both the sides and what the sides are. But, like, that doesn't – sometimes it could be both sides. But at the end of the day, when it's about not hating people because that's so simple to do and you should be doing that, it's not both sides sometimes. So true. So true. There are varying degrees of bullshit and jackassery. And maybe both sides have a little bit of that, but it's not, 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 you get it. You get it. Okay, you understand. GOP isn't even hiding it anymore. They're Nazis. Well, this guy is. This guy is. Uh, clearly, this guy is. Oh, oh, but he was only an honorary member. Not better, idiot. What such smooth brain response? Not better. Not better. Literally not better. This is why we have to assume people are so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> we hate to assume people are stupid because it's not nice. <laughs> Everything about this church is supposed to be nice. But when you're so out in the open stupid, what can I do? What can I say? Not much. Just call you it. Mm. How can you be an honorary member when there is no honor in being a member? So facts. Blessed comments. A little pun in there about people who are shitty. Like this man. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. There's no honor in generalizing your hate. There's no honor in hating a general group of people. 
Zero. You don't even know those people. Did you meet those people? Okay, well, you get it. It's just simple concepts that when I, I look at these articles and it's lost on people, and now I have to sit here and I have to do a sermon on something that's so easy. Get it in your brain. We're so tired. Thankfully, this guy isn't actually leading in any polls. I'm sure that's true. And I'm sure he's not going to be governor. But it's about the fact that he feels okay. He feels okay to say out loud in a public way, oh, I was an honorary KKK member. You think that's okay to say? <laughs> you should be ashamed of saying that. That should be such a stain, a shit stain on your character. You should bury it down deep and hope nobody ever finds it. And here you are proclaiming it. Like it's not a big deal. No, it is. You're going to hell. Oh, 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 oh. hate to say it, but it's true. I don't hate to say it because you suck. <sighs> McClanahan, the third through six letters of that name are doing a lot of heavy lifting. <gasps> oh, this is very disturbing. All right, that's enough, folks. That's enough. This guy is a piece of crap. And once again, people are who they tell you they are every single time. And we're not going to let him off the hook. We're not going to do it here at this church. Oh, and that's when we say, thanks for stopping by as always. Praise me, praise us all, and subscribe for more wisdom.